Hi friends, this video will show you how to fix the Steam Corrupt Disk Error on Windows. Solution 1, rename the downloading folder. Navigate to your Steam installation folder. If you haven't configured any changes during the process of installation regarding the required installation folder, it should be local disk greater than greater than program files or local disk greater than greater than program files x86. However, if you have the Steam program shortcut on the desktop, you can simply right click on it and choose the open file location option from the context menu which will appear. Locate the Steam Maps folder in the main folder, open it, and locate the downloading folder inside. Right click on it and choose the rename option from the context menu which will appear. Change the folder's name to something like old. Reopen Steam and you should see that all downloads have been reset. Check to see if the problem still appears when trying to download or update the have which was giving you problems. Solution 2, Clear Download Cache. Make sure you start the Steam client by double clicking it on the desktop or by searching for it with your start menu open and clicking on the first result. Click the Steam option from the menu at the top of the client screen and choose Settings. In the Settings window make sure you navigate to the Downloads tab and check the bottom of the window for the clear download cache. A new window should open prompting you to confirm your choice and all unnecessary download files should now be deleted. Click the Steam option at the top left part of the Steam client and choose Exit to exit Steam completely. Solution 3, Run the Error Checking Utility. Open your library's entry on your PC or open any folder on your computer and click on this PC option from the left side menu. If you are using an older version of Windows, Windows 7 and older, simply open my computer from your desktop. Right click on the drive where your game is installed and choose the properties option from the context menu which will appear. Navigate to the tools tab in the properties window and click the check button under the error checking follow the instructions which will appear on screen and the process shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Solution 4, change power settings. Right click on the battery icon located in the system tray and click on power options. If you are not using Windows 10, click on the start menu and search for control panel. Change the view by option to large icons and click on the power options. Choose the power plan you are currently using, usually balanced or power saver, and click on the change plan settings in the new window which opens, click on change advanced power settings. In this window, click the small plus button next to the hard disk entry on the list to expand it. Do the same for the turn off hard disk after change the setting option to never by clicking on it. Do the same for all active battery plans since your computer will sometimes switch between them automatically. Check to see if the corrupt disk error still appears on your computer. Solution 5, Reinstall Steam. Make sure you back up every library folder you wish to preserve on your computer and take note of their proper locations so that you can add them back once Steam is reinstalled. Click on the Start menu and open Control Panel by searching for it. Alternatively, you can click the cog icon to open settings if you are using Windows 10. In Control Panel, select a view as category at the top right corner and click on an install a program under the program section. If you are using the settings app, clicking on apps should immediately open a list of all installed programs on your PC. Locate the Steam entry on the list and click on it once. Click on the uninstall button above the list and confirm any dialog boxes which may appear. Follow the instructions on screen to uninstall Steam and restart your computer afterward. Or download the Steam client by navigating to this link and run the downloaded executable on your computer by locating it in the downloads folder and double clicking on it.